All right, we're back again with another episode of Story Time with Josh, and I've got a couple of my kids with me again. We've got Kyla and Kayla. Caleb, Kyla and Caleb. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before we jump in our story today, we've got to just give a shout out to some friends who are watching. We've got a big list here of some friends who are watching. So first of all, we want to say hi to Elizabeth, David, and Audrey. Hi, Elizabeth, David, hi. and Audrey. Can you say hi? Hi. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, Michaela said thank you for the David and Goliath story. That's one of her favorites. That's one of ours as well. So, Michaela, thanks for watching. Say hi, hi. Michaela. Hi. We got Malachi and Leo. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. Hi. Say hi, Malachi and Leo. Hi, Malachi. Mal <laughs> Malachi. Can't say it. It's tough to say. Malachi. Mal. Oh, good one, Kayla. Malachi. We've also got Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Thanks for watching, buddy. We're so glad you're joining us. We've got Zach and Adelaide. Say hi to them, hi. Zechariah and Adelaide. Thanks for watching, guys. We're so glad that you are. Eliana, David, and Andrew. Thank you guys for watching. Say hi. 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 We've got Emma. Emma, thanks for watching. And Taylor, Alex, and Jesse, thank you for watching. Hi. That was a lot. Did we get everybody on the list? I think so. I think so too. Well, we are so glad that you guys are watching. We did have a special request for what our story would be today, and that's Baby Jesus and the Good News. We're going to read about Baby Jesus and the Good News. And this is, again, from our Read Aloud Bible Stories. This one's found in Volume 3. Baby Jesus and the Good News from Matthew 1, verses 20 and 21, verses 24, and it's also found in Luke 1, 26 through 38, and chapter 2, 8 through 18. That's a lot. That is a lot. So should we read about Baby Jesus and the Good News? Yeah. Okay, I, I like so. it. Yep. What's another word for good news? Um, like, good, like, great or something? Well, that's true. Do you know? Do you guys know what's another word for good news? We use it a lot. It describes Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They're known as the... Well, like if we want to tell somebody the good news about Jesus, we share with them the... Good, no, the... Gospel? Yeah, say it! Tell gospel. Them. Gospel. gospel! Everybody say gospel! 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 Can you do it? Gospel, that's the good news. So we're going to read about baby Jesus and the good news, or baby Jesus and the gospel. Does that sound good? Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah, I think so too. Could you hear them? I couldn't hear them. Could you hear them? A little bit. Let's ask them again. Do you think we should do that? Yeah, I hear them. You did? Let's, hear, let's ask them again. Are you ready to learn about baby Jesus and the good news? Yeah. Can you guys do it really loud? Say yeah. Baby, yeah. Yeah. are you ready to hear about baby Jesus and the good news? Yeah! yeah! All right, me too. Okay, here we go. One day, God's angel came to Mary's house. Do you see that? God's angel, that's God's angel coming to Mary's house. You guys see that? There, that's the angel. And the angel's coming to Mary's house. The angel had good news for Mary. He said, you see those pictures? There's the angel and there's Mary. And the angel's coming to tell Mary something. God's son is coming from heaven. You will be his mommy. Wasn't that good news? Yes. Was that good news? Yes. Yes. Was that good news? That Mary would be Jesus' mommy? <gasps> he will be a special baby. There you go. There's the angel. Telling Mary this message from God. Well, Pretty cool. Like, I just like the volume on the, the, the volume on the front of the book. The volume on the front of the book. Oh, the that's a good question. Us. There's five volumes. So there's, it's like volume one, there's a group of stories. Volume two, there's uh, a group of stories. Uh, Kyla was asking about what the different volumes mean. What's that? I think the boys are going to play. The boys are playing with dart guns. Yeah. That, well, that happens. We were gonna do a war upstairs, and then we were gonna do this, <laughs> and, and then we were gonna do this, and so they were getting it set up, so they were doing dart. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Now you know what's happening in our house right now. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. 
God's son is coming already, from heaven. Oh, yeah, I did read that. Okay, next page. <laughs> you, we got to reel it in here. What's happening? Okay, you must name him. What was the name that they were supposed to name God's son? Do you know what name? Jesus. That's right, Jesus. Jesus. Mary said, all right, and then, so that's that page. And then God's angel came to Joseph's house. He had good news for Joseph. Why do you think Joseph is, can you see the picture there? Why do you think Joseph is working with all that wood? To build a house, maybe? Well, what, what was his profession? What did he do for a living? He um, was a... What a is king! It? No, what's it called when you work with wood? I forgot. Car... Cardboard! Car cardboard? Carpen... Car carpenter. Carpenter, that's right. So God's angel came to Joseph's house. He had good news for Joseph. Mary will be a mommy, the angel said. Her baby will be God's son. He's coming to take away people's badness. What's the Bible word for badness? Sin. Sin, that's right, sin. But Jesus, God's son, is coming to take away people's sin. Wasn't that good news? No. No? How is that yes. good news? Yes, 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 yes that, that is good, good news. news. That's the angel telling Joseph. Why are you doing that? Because my ears keep popping. Yeah, I'm popping too. Yeah. Mine are not. They're not popping? That's good. You must name the baby... Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! Joseph said, all right. There, the angel's telling Joseph. And then... What do you think happens next? Um, later on, Joseph's going to have to take Mary to Bethlehem. Oh. And then later on, now the baby. Oh. Or they're going to tell everybody about the good news. Mm. God's angel, it's like you've read this before. God's angel came to some men on a little hill. The men were taking care of their sheep. What's someone's, Caleb? Well, maybe you guys know. What is it called the person who takes care of sheep? God. That's, God is the one. No, no, no. Uh, if someone takes care of sheep, what are they called? What is that person called? Do you know? That's right. Good yes, job. A yeah. Shepherd. A shepherd. A shepherd take care of sheep. The angel said, I have good news for everybody. For everybody. Good news for everybody. Say, it's good news for everybody. It's good news for everybody. That's right. This is good news for everybody. God's son has come from heaven. He is a baby. He is sleeping in a manger. A manger is a box where donkeys eat. That's what a manger is. And they laid Jesus down. He was laying in a manger. All at once, so there they're telling him this. All at once, many angels were there. In one big voice, they said good things about God. After that, they went back home to heaven. Everything was quiet again. As quiet as quiet can be. There all the angels came and they were making a loud noise, praising God, saying good things about God. You see that? Daddy, I realized that that picture is on the front of the book. That's right. Look at that. That picture is yeah. that picture. <gasps> <laughs> Mind blown. And then it was quiet as quiet could be. Can we make it as quiet as quiet can be? Let's all be super quiet. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quiet when you Are you guys laughing? Are you making noise? Let's be quiet. Definitely no <laughs> laughing. I said no laughing. One, two, three. As quiet as quiet can be. One, two. Two, three. <gasps> you guys are being quiet. <laughs> We're trying to be quiet. I like the book said. Quiet. Okay, deep breaths. <sighs> quiet as quiet can be. Shh. What?
Were you guys <laughs> able to be quiet? It's hard to be quiet. Have, have you ever tried the quiet game? It's a really fun game. It is a fun game. Mom, the men looked at each other. Can you look at each other? You guys there, look at each other. If you're watching with your brother or sister, look at each other. <gasps> they looked at each other. They said, what good news. Let's find the baby. Can you say that? What That's good news. news. Let's find, find the, baby. the baby. And then they also said, let's go right away. See, let's go right away. Let's go right away. Let's go fast. Can you go, go fast? Fast. fast. <laughs> oh, we're going fast. That's right. Do you think they found him? Yes. Yes. Yes? There they go. That's what they're saying to each other. And they're going fast. Okay. They found him. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yay. Right. There, well, was, was right. there was there was Mary. There was Joseph. And there was <gasps> he was. Baby Jesus! Jesus, do you see it? You see him? They were there, they found him. God, oh, right there. God's son from heaven, sleeping in the manger box. Where's the manger box? Here. Yeah. And what animals do you see? I see donkeys, sheep, cows, horses. Um, horses. What animals do you see? Can you make a horse sound? No. <laughs> like that? Can you do that? Can you make a horse sound? How about sheep? Oh, good one. Cows. Cows. All those animals, they were there in the in the picture here. That's pretty awesome. Those okay, then the men looked at the baby. They talked to Mary. They talked to Joseph. Then they went back to their sheep, right? Because what are they? They're shepherds. shepherds. Now they had good news to tell. The shepherds had good news to tell. What was their good news that they had to tell? That um, Jesus was born. That Jesus was born. <gasps> the end. Except our pages are missing. Oh. I don't think we have the what did you learn page. Oh no. I know oh, oh nope, here it is. We have it. <laughs> it's the right page. It was in the front. Okay, look at that. But Sometimes that happens. Are... Yeah, we'll have to figure it out here. Do you see that? We do have the last page. It's supposed to go right there. Look at that. That's fun. We found a fix. These are, yeah, we found a fix. I've read this book many times because it's a tradition we do on Christmas. We always read. That's right. And I've been the news reader, so yep. I've been reading. Pretty awesome. Um, I think it says, he's here. Jesus, Christ the Lord, he's here. We heard the angels and we saw him. That was the good news that the shepherds had to share, that Jesus had come. You see that? Yeah. That is good news that Jesus Baby. came. Baby. Okay, what did we learn? The, um, um, baby Jesus. That's exactly right. Um, we learned that Jesus was a kid and he grew up just like us but then mm -hmm. when he grew up he died on the cross well that is a true statement all of that wasn't in our story today but that is true that's really important we learned that jesus came from god right mm -hmm. jesus came to grow up and to take away people's badness that's like what you said or what was their badness called sin sin, sin right yep sin. yep and and god and us sin Jesus took the sin of everybody who believes in him and put it on Jesus when he died on the cross. But it's pretty amazing that Jesus, who is God in the flesh, came to earth. He came to earth. That was a really big deal. That, was, that took a lot of humility. He humbled himself to come and to take on flesh, that means he took on a body as a human and he lived a perfect life. Did Jesus ever sin? No. no. Nope, he never sinned, not even once. Do we sin? Yes. yes. Yeah, we do sin. And so we needed a sacrifice. 
Jesus was that sacrifice. And Jesus was that sacrifice. Would he have been a good sacrifice for us if he wasn't God? No. No, he had to be God. And he had to do what? He had to not sin. And he did those things. That's why he's called the Messiah or the anointed one. He's from God. So that he could come and he could die on the cross for everyone who believes in him and trusts in them. So we should trust in him. He is trustworthy. Yes. And he's amazing. So that is the story of Jesus coming to earth. Now there's a fancy word that we use to describe Jesus coming and becoming a human being. Do you know what that word is? It's a big word. And it's called, do you know what it is? Some of you probably do. Is it gospel? Well, the gospel is the good news, and that's part of it. But it's a big fancy word called incarnation. Incarnation. Oh. Can you say that? Incarnation. Uh, incarnation. Can you guys say it? Again? Say it? Carnation. Incarnation. Can yeah, you can guys? you guys say it? Incarnation. 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 That's where Jesus came and took on flesh that he became a man and that's truly amazing and he started out as a baby and he lived his life perfect before god and then also that he could die on the cross for all who believe in him that's really good news right yeah yep any last things we want to say no 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 but thank you guys for watching yeah thank you Bye. so much for watching hope you had a good time be Bye. sure to email us again if you have your parents email us if you're watching and we'd love to just acknowledge that again like we did at the beginning also if you have favorite stories from these books that you'd love to uh, have us read and go through together we'd love your suggestions and more ideas okay thanks Bye. for watching have a great bye. day bye friends bye